Did you know that every day the State Transportation Innovation Council, known as STIC, facilitates development and deployment of transportation innovations across Pennsylvania? The Pennsylvania STIC is led by the PennDOT Secretary and the FHWA Pennsylvania Division Administrator. STIC works to identify, develop, and deploy innovations to impact Pennsylvania's infrastructure to improve safety, efficiency, and sustainability for the future. One way innovation development is funded is through STIC incentive funding. The FHWA STIC incentive program offers up to $100,000 per state annually with a 20% match from PennDOT to develop and deploy innovations. These innovations include tools, technology, and processes that enhance transportation. How far can this funding really go to advance innovation in Pennsylvania? A long way. The FHWA's STIC incentive program has provided key funding to projects like Penn Start, the development of GRSIBS bridge specifications, a local government safety seminar, and a salt and snow management course for local governments. The Penn Start project will create a state-of-the-art facility to provide traffic incident management training, testing for new intelligent transportation systems and signal equipment. It will support work zone operations training, traffic control testing, safety certification, and smart truck parking applications. It will also provide controlled environments for testing connected and autonomous vehicles. By providing standard training to PennDOT traffic incident management responders, PennStart will create a safer and quicker way to clear traffic incidents, improving safety for the traveling public and emergency responders. The stick incentive funding provided a mechanism for us to start doing a systems engineering analysis of the facility, developing a concept of operation, developing the use cases, a business plan, how we would actually operate the facility and facility requirements. So as we move into the design phase and the construction phase, everything's already aligned up so it makes sure that the project can move as smoothly as possible going forward. The Penn Start facility will allow responders from all disciplines to actually practice working the scene of an emergency incident in as close to a real world, full scale environment as possible. Another innovation changing the face of Pennsylvania with stick incentive funds is geosynthetic reinforced soil, integrated bridge systems, or GRS-IBS. GRS-IBS is a construction method that uses readily available, inexpensive materials and basic techniques to build better bridges. It helps reduce the number of poor condition bridges across the state and allows these projects to be completed more efficiently and roads to be reopened faster. The stick incentive funds are being used by PennDOT to continue the development of GRS-IBS bridge specifications to lead to more GRS-IBS bridge projects across the state. So now that we've seen that GRS-IBS works for us, We've done it on small volume roads. As you can tell, this is a pretty rural area. GRS IBS bridges are only rated to be used on roads up to 400 vehicles per day. The success of GRS IBS has the department investigating the possibility of expanding the program to longer spans and higher ADTs. PennDOT is also looking into what other states are doing in this area. Your local agencies also understand the importance of a safe and reliable transportation network. Stick incentive funds were used to host a local government safety seminar. At the seminar, local government officials learned about roadway safety planning, cost-effective safety countermeasures like rumble strips, warning signs, pavement markings and high friction surface treatment, and funding for improvements. Events like this increase the safety of all of our roads. So for some municipalities, this might be the first time they're doing a particular project. And you want to make sure you get it correct. You want to make sure you're at the correct specs and you know, doing things as safely as possible. And that's the beauty of an event such as a seminar. You know, you could, you know, find these resources are available, find out how to contact these folks and get everything done correctly. The Salt and Snow Management course developed by PennDOT's Local Technical Assistance Program, or LTAP, is another great example of collaboration between PennDOT and local governments funded by stick incentive funding. The training shares winter maintenance best practices and promotes operational efficiencies in plowing and the spreading of winter materials, and equipment calibration to achieve effective application rates to provide winter roadway maintenance that is consistent and safe. The importance that I see with the, the winter maintenance uh, class that we have here when we talk about salt and snow management is 
Uh, environmentally, there's a, a, a big concern of how much salt we're using, not putting down too much salt, or not even putting down any, any skid material at all. That we, uh, through sensible salting, that we use the right amount of salt for the storm. These efforts represent PennDOT and Stick's commitment to foster a culture of innovation. These innovations ultimately benefit the traveling public by providing a safer and more efficient transportation system. FHWA's Stick Incentive Funds help new innovations get off on the right foot and allow them to be successfully implemented. For more information on the FHWA Stick Incentive Funding Program, visit www.fhwa.dot.gov slash innovation slash stick. Or for more information on the Pennsylvania Stick, visit www.pendot.gov slash stick.